Hello, let's introduce myself. This is Jose Antonio Tenorio speaking. I work in Torroja Institute that belongs to the National Research Council of Spain. I and Ana Marcos are going to make this presentation about thermally activated water-based lattices. Uh, we are going to talk about the thermal control of the exterior urban area through evaporative cooling, shading and ventilation. A um, working group uh, from Torja Institute and the uh, University of uh, Seville uh, make this paper and we will present it. The contents are an introduction. We will talk about the objective and strategies of the project. Then we will talk about methods, results, some results and finally con some conclusions. The project Cartuja Canat, recovering the street in life in a climate changing world is financed by UIA Urban Innovative Action. The Cartuja Canal project tries to recover street life through a new model of urban governance in the hot climate of Seville. As you probably know, the climate of Seville is extremely hot in summer season. In the future and now, because of the climate change, it's necessary to adapt urban areas to be used. The street is used as a social revitalization that tries to involve in its transformation citizens along with public and private agents. The main objective of the project is the renovation of a small urban area in Cartuja Island next to Guadalquivir River. The partners of the project are Municipality of Seville, Emacesa, the a, a company of supply waters, uh, the Urban Agency, from also from the Municipality of Seville, University of Seville, Eduardo Torroja Institute from uh, CSIC, the Scientific and Technological Cartuja Management uh, Company and Innovatilla Technological Center in Cartuja Canat. Uh, we will uh, build two buildings, one amphitheater, open space amphitheater, and one multipurpose marketplace. And the uh, canat, the water canat, that will um, be used to cool the, all the facilities in, in the summertime. Objectives of the project are renovate and re revitalize an urban area, create comfortable and enclosed spaces with low energy consumption, serve, serve as an example for other cities, and the strategies uh, are shedding, confinement, evaporative cooling, and uh, the use of the night sky as thermal sink. Bioclimatic strategies are evaporative cooling, this is not a new technology, ventilation with fresh air, uh, that is cool with the canat, with the water in the canat, the vegetation as natural barriers and thermal inertia to maintain the temperature. The traditional elements are the lattices, lattices that are barriers to the sun and to the wind and the water canat as energy storage and as a heat exchanger. The key element for the development of this study is the lattice. The lattice has traditionally been present in Mediterranean cultures and in areas with hot and dry summers, both of which apply to the city of Seville. It provides shading from the sun while enabling ventilation. To take it a step forward, this lattice is designed as an active system enhanced through evaporative cooling to create a bioclimatic lattice. Water is interesting for several reasons. It can be relatively easy to access depending on the location, it has a good thermal potential due to its heat storage capacity, and also it acts as a great transfer fluid for sensible and latent heat. Water, in touch with air that is hotter, absorbs sensible heat by accumulating it, as well as latent heat as it changes phase while evaporating. In order to dissipate this heat, the study took advantage of the night sky temperature depression, which is the difference between air temperature and sky temperature during the night, the latter one being significantly lower. Water was cooled down at night through two processes. 
radiative cooling by exposing it to the night sky, and pulverization, which allows for a larger surface to be exposed to the night ambience. The experiment developed two water basins, a passive one with water standing still, and an active one where water is pulverized through a pumping circuit. The system works in daily cycles. During the day, water absorbs heat from the air, while this heat is dissipated at night. In the graph, the light gray line at the bottom is the ambient temperature. The dark gray line at the top represents the water temperature of the passive basin, and the black line in between reflects the temperature of the water that is pulverized in the active basin. This graph clearly shows the cooling potential of the system. In addition to this experiment, computational fluid dynamics was developed to analyze the performance of different geometrical possibilities for the lattice and their effect on the pressure drop before and after the barrier. This was done through a 1 by 1 meter wind tunnel, where parameters such as pressure and air velocity were obtained. These parameters were used to create graphs representing the efficiency of the system through the equation shown, which correlates the pressure drop and the velocity of air. Each line represents a certain lattice with a specific percentage of mass and hollows, which gives an idea of how much air can pass through at a time. Several things were learned from the experiment, such as the effectiveness of pulverization in lowering water temperature, the suitability of passive techniques for outdoor spaces, the thermal performance of water in cycles, or the importance of the ratio between the size of the water drops and the level of pulverization, as the smaller the drop, the better cooling efficiency, but also the easier will evaporate, resulting in higher water consumption. Cartuja Canat is a holistic project focused on the livability of urban spaces for citizens by targeting the urban heat island effect. It includes theoretical, experimental and real case study procedures, setting a full course of action that may serve as a reference for other cities. In addition, once built, it will include information for visitors to understand the project and its relevance. Jose Antonio and I would like to thank you all for your attention and we hope you found the project interesting.